Artificial intelligence, along with a gene editing tool called CRISPR, has a great shot at killing diseases like cancer. CRISPR can do all sorts of bizarre things. It can make animals like rabbits glow in the dark. It can potentially bring back creatures from extinction like the woolly mammoth. It has the capability to make newborn babies grow up to be smarter than Einstein. It can eliminate malaria from mosquitoes, saving over 500,000 people's lives annually. It even has the potential to cure and kill kill diseases like cancer. Now, do you want to find out how CRISPR works, how AI will make it even better, and how anyone can do gene editing from their homes right now? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn all about that and more. Plus, you'll find out how this technology could go horribly wrong and mutate human beings forever. Our bodies have trillions of cells and just about every single one of them contains DNA, which is the building block for life. This DNA contains genes and these genes instruct our bodies how to make new cells. So when a young child is growing, for example, and needs new heart, skin, or liver cells, the genes guide our bodies on what types of cells to make for those organs. Without genes, our bodies wouldn't know if our skin needed skin type cells or cells that are meant for our hearts instead. Without them, humans would essentially just be a bowl of cell soup and we wouldn't even exist. Genes are also what give us our traits. They also determine the color of our eyes, they influence our intelligence, and they can give us a buff body or a flabbier dad bod. The crazy thing is that the genes inside our bodies or any living thing for that matter, can be edited with CRISPR technology. This innovation can change letters on a DNA strand, which ultimately alters our genes. The implications of this are endless and super weird as well. A fully unregulated version of CRISPR would allow people to do crazy things. Parents could edit their embryos to give their children blue hair and pink eyes at birth. Athletes could edit their genes to make their muscles more like that of a gorilla. And balding men could finally get the full head of hair they've always wanted. As you can see, this gene modifying tech can do some crazy things. So what's the catch? Well, one of the problems with CRISPR is that it can sometimes change the wrong genes by accident. Imagine telling it to make yourself smarter, only to realize that it altered the wrong genes and made you more depressed instead. That's a real possibility. This issue is called off-targeting and is one of the reasons why the Food and Drug Administration hasn't approved CRISPR to treat diseases like cancer, even though it's been around for 10 plus years. But that could soon change with the help of AI. An AI company called Profluent has found a way to edit genes with far more precision than traditional CRISPR techniques. The company did this by training their LLM to analyze vast amounts of biological data, which allowed them to create synthetic molecules that could target DNA with far more precision than CRISPR's Cas9 molecule. Ultimately, this means less risk of changing the wrong genes by accident. This is a big deal. If Profluent's CRISPR tool works as expected, this could help fast track gene editing cures for all kinds of diseases, including cancer. It would essentially make it easier for the FDA to approve these gene altering therapies. So genetic cancers like ovarian cancer, pancreatic cancer, and prostate cancer could be prevented from ever forming in the first place with the help of CRISPR. And this isn't just for cancer. This biohacking tool could prevent just about any disease from developing in your body. And even if it's not a disease caused by your genetics and is already in your body, gene editors could change your DNA to help you fight the disease. It's all fascinating and the possibilities are endless. It's just a matter of the FDA giving their approval on some of these new and developing gene altering treatments. Just don't hold your breath though, because that can take years or decades. The point of all this is that CRISPR has the potential to cure almost any disease and even prolong life. The real question, a question a lot of well-regarded scientists are asking, is should we open that Pandora's box? Should we try to cure all diseases and prolong our lives? Because there are consequences to doing that. Once we start tweaking human genes, we will permanently change humans' makeup forever. The genes we edit to cure cancer in John Doe Human will be passed down to his kids. And the more mutations we make to people's genes, the more the human genome will change as a whole, a change that will affect all future generations. If gene editing is left unchecked, 
Humans might not even look like humans in 100 or 200 plus years from now. We could have brains that are twice as big as they are now or toes that are webbed to help us swim. CRISPR can speed up evolution to light speed. So it might just be a better choice to live with certain diseases because that's a better alternative than changing what it fundamentally means to be a human in the near future. The crazy thing about all of this is that anyone can do gene editing right now. You don't need some prescription from your primary care doctor to edit your genes. A documentary on Netflix called Unnatural Selection shows how this is being done. Biohackers are selling gene altering kits that anyone can buy from sites like theodin.com. So if you have HIV, for instance, you could edit your own genes to try to cure it. Now, obviously, I do not recommend doing this. Don't do it. You will harm yourself if you do. The point of all of this is that it's fascinating that it's available to the average citizen, especially since one person editing their own genes has consequence for humanity as a whole. So the next time you wish you could be smarter or better looking than your friends, don't worry. You might just be able to edit yourself like an avatar in a video game in the coming decades. Just pull out your gene editing kit, give yourself a six pack, and edit your brain to become smarter. Let's just hope you don't end up killing humanity by doing so. That's it for tonight. If you want to learn more interesting AI stories, check out my other vid, the AI art heist no one is talking about. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.